we're going to Franz Joseph Glaciers. It's 256 kilometers from here. And if we keep going at this rate, we'll get there at 1.44 p.m. But I don't think we're going to go straight there. <laughs> Knowing me, I will um, stop like what I just did just there and just enjoying the view out here in New Zealand. What I really want to do, the only thing that's bothering me in the back of my mind is that we can't seem to get our PowerPoints working. Um, that's going to cause a bit of issues when batteries start running low. That's beautiful. And this looks like the road, the railroad, so you can actually go here by rail as well. You see these views, but no way. Go by camper van. Seriously, we moved our house around with us. So you can point back and look at the house as well. See? Woohoo! But it's a nice drive. It's a very, very scenic drive. It's not difficult at all. morning we're here at fox glaciers uh top 10 hotel um in camper van in here this is day three I have elaine down here how are you today i'm good <laughs> i'm good have a good sleep last night yeah not too bad it's very warm is it mm. elaine finds it very warm mm. she's my little eskimo <laughs> <laughs> later on hopefully i'll be able to um hike up there and see what view it has to present when I take the camera up towards the Franz Joseph glaciers. Right now we are just at like a, one of the powered sites here at Franz Joseph. Uh, we stayed here last night and at the back behind me you can see that the there's the Franz Joseph glaciers and it's just early in the sunrise now. Just a quick tour around here. You know we parked our um, camper van over to one of the sides here. You have bays like this. We're at 110 and uh, you can back your your van right at the back and you have these power stations that you can just plug up to your van to power up the, the secondary battery. Uh, we also had the option to uh, refresh our waste water and our clean water just at the station in front of me. You can see that near where those uh, red, orange witches hats are. And um, it makes it quite comfortable. We still stayed here last night. And back over there, behind the trees, you can see that's where the hot water showers and toilets and uh, kitchen and internet room is. And over towards just over the side of that building here behind that red van is the laundry so, you know i'm still here waiting to capture the fox glaciers i'm just looking over to the site over here now i can just my camera is just waiting patiently now i can actually see the some nice cloud details coming out from there so i'm actually going to grab a shot of the scene i'm just going to meter this make sure that the, my settings are okay it's gone a little bit brighter so i'm going to to compensate. Okay. Take another shot. It's all about patience really. I take several shots and we'll see how that looks. It's looking quite nice on the back of the LCD there. Uh, right now on my actual camera what I actually have to set up is uh, set up on my camera is my 5D with a 24 to 105 f4 lens. I'm shooting at around about f14 and just another thing when you have your camera set up onto a tripod make sure that your your image stabilizer is uh, switched off wow those colors are really changing up there right now you can see that on the actual video but let's have a look let's see how we go let's grab another snap of that Yeah, so that's... Hello! We're Hi. here at Franz Joseph Glaciers. We'll turn around this way so we won't have a bit of light, not too much light. Me and Elaine is down here. You can see the glaciers at the back behind me. Yeah. It's so beautiful. So bright. It is. We'll keep going forward. There, it looks like a... Look, so peaceful. 
that's what it looks like during the day. Mm. Uh, what time are we at? We're at just past 10 o'clock. And the walk took about, oh, I'd say about half an hour, maybe even less than that actually. It's, uh, it's recommended um, 90 minutes uh, return via walking. But we've been, we haven't been walking ex extremely fast. But it was a comfortable walk. It was only like one little bit of an incline and that wasn't really much at all. So it's not strenuous. Uh, it looks like we can only just get to another few hundred meters from here. I'm not too sure if you can see those people ahead. Um, I don't think we can get any closer than that. Um, anything closer, we just found out that you actually have to ride a helicopter uh, for a guided to a walk. So, yeah, the, the temperature is quite good here. It's like neither hot nor cold. The only struggle I had was my hands were getting cold just holding onto my carbon fiber tripod. But I just figured out an ingenious way to hold onto this tripod. This is awesome. I... It's amazing. It actually saves me and it's actually really comfortable. Um, the amount of equipment that I'm actually holding onto this is actually quite astonishing. <laughs> um, there's quite a lot. <laughs> And um, I, might show, I might show a video later on on what actually is on this vest because bringing this vest along has been one of the best sort of tips, best sort of moves I've actually made on this trip. I'm actually really happy about it. You can probably see a helicopter up there, just passing by over that way. One over the head behind us. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's not too many people here at the moment. And it's just a nice brisk walk. So you can see the sort of ground that we're walking on. So, you know, no dramas with that at all. Like, let's ask Elaine to see how she's finding the walk. Hello, Elaine. Hi. How's the walk? Very good, very, very easy. Yeah, see? Just wearing sneakers. Mm, let's have a look. Come, come, come. Yeah. Instead of hiking boots. Yeah. Still working, huh? Mm hmm. Very good. And there's, oh, and also note, there are a few waterfalls along the way. Yeah. Not sure if you can hear them, but there's one over in the top left corner nearby. I can hear them through the actual gorge area. There's a few more mm. over towards in that way, which is pretty cool. Here now we're a lot closer towards the Franz Josef Glacier and it looks like the scenery's changed just slightly. Back there before, the rocks were that reddish sort of um, rocks, but now we've got these little ones to contend with. Again, the, the track is getting much closer and you can see we're only like about 400, 500 meters away from the actual glacier itself, which is just up there. And you can see a lane down the bottom there. Give a wave, Elaine. Wave. Hello. And this is nice. With regards to photography, I'm really going to make a use of this running water down here. It looks absolutely amazing. Probably put this as a foreground. I'm going to have that nice, smooth water transition. Might put my ND10 filter on my camera and get down nice and low, a vertical shot, and have the, the, the glaciers. Uh, in there as well. A little bit of the sky, not too much of the sky because it's just plain blue at the moment then you know not nothing all that interesting up there. So let's just traverse through these rocks down here and not slip. It's fantastic. It's just so peaceful around here. You really feel connected up with nature coming on a walk like this. And not too busy, but you know, we have our own space to get around. So here we go. Yeah. 
So you can see the glaciers up towards there. Do not go past here, ice fall, rock falls. <laughs> Wouldn't want them landing on your head now, would you? The guy on top or even on the bottom is not going to have a very good day, is he? <laughs> right? Look at that unique looking rock. Pretty cool. That's the end there. Right down there. That's where everyone congregates. And there's a rock right in the middle of the path. He must have just fell last night. There's probably a guy down the bottom of him. Don't make the same fatal mistake, huh? Okay, no worries. So that's it there, it's as far as we can go.